los simios aprenderán, yo aprenderé. Y también... Conquistaré. ¡Corre! So, this is in general for everyone. Uh, it has been hundreds of years since uh, Caesar's death. What is his legacy in this film? Well, it, his legacy is, is gigantic, but it's uh, just like any um, written words or words that are, are passed down orally, uh, they're left open to interpretation. So, and manipulation. Yeah. Sure. Well, it can, it, <laughs> oh my God, all right. <laughs> well, it can, it can be manipulation, but... Well, it, you know, it, but, manipulating the words to, to, to suit a certain um, motive. I'm yeah. not saying we'll I'm see, not. But, but he doesn't think that. But that's what I I'm know, saying. I know, I know you yeah. don't, and you're very. He's very defensive of Brooks. But Brooks. objectively speaking, no, 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 no. But I, 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 I totally understand what you mean. But I, you know, if 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 someone was to interpret it, it, it it's like in any kind of religion and whatnot. That's what um, I'm saying. You know, uh, for, for for Proximus, you know, the words ring a little differently. Um, he believes that by any means necessary, they have to. Um, they have the only way that they're going to evolve is by keeping uh, these stinky humans at bay, and you know because otherwise they're just going to put us back in the cages. And um, uh, I'm not going to let that happen. He's very defensive of his character. He's he's Proximus is still strong. In, Proximus in is his baby. He rocks him like this. You. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Nova and Noah have developed a difficult relationship between them, mm -hmm. um, and of course there is a lot of distrust. Uh, how do you feel about the evolution of this bound uh, during the film? I mean, I think it's interesting because watching it Similarly to you, I guess, like I mean, presumably for everyone, we all have to like back our characters. So you know, when I'm when I was playing her, I felt I felt like uh, this real relationship build and this kind of connection. But it's interesting because when you watch it, you know, it, it sort of um, she's definitely like it definitely feels like she's really. I mean, she is looking out for herself, but 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 I still feel like you know, as I was saying earlier, like we catalyze this kind of um, real, like broadening of mind, right, you know? Uh, yeah, and we... and uh, they've both grown up with very fixed views of each other's species, and I think Suddenly that- they're having to question all of that exactly. because of this experience that they have. And mm. that's what they other. provide for one another. Right. Um, and obviously it's not one, one thing, one straight mm -hmm. thing, but um, it definitely, his, it makes them going from you know a fixed point of view to to asking the questions. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a there's a sense with for Noah that that you know I'm always wanting to see the best in you, mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. you you are so difficult to access you know mm -hmm. and and so it's so hard to read you and and trust you that like there's always this kind of like. I don't know if I if it's safe to 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 give in to the hope. Yes, you know? yes. It is not um, safe. Yeah. Not <laughs> yes. Well, I know you're gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but but sort of feeling each other out in that and in I, that way was, was. Yeah, yeah, and I also feel like May is sort of like almost it, it doesn't like the fact that it's that in in a certain way that that it's your challenge like your. Right. Um, Ch challenging. You weren't her. expecting yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like I think she, I think she, it would be a lot and easier for neither her. Neither was I. It'd be a yeah. lot easier for her if, if that wasn't the case. Right. Mm. Um, and now it's complicated things because yeah. because she's seen um, she's seen you know the the, the, the feelings and the the, the similarities mm -hmm. and they hold up a mirror for one another and mm -hmm. and and, the, and realizing that there's there's far more similarities than they might have thought. Yeah. Well, and the world it's kind of upside down. Uh, how was to play a silent character for you, Freya, and for both of you. Uh, how did you get the ape speech, so to speak? Hmm. Do you want to Oh, silent the character. First? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, silent for 
you know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if that's spoiler, so. Oh, right, yes. Well, I mean, it's out there. So it's out. I think it's out now. I mean, everyone knows, YouTube. unfortunately, it's been ruined. Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, so this, I mean, this, this, the, it was lovely. I must say, it was lovely when I just got to speak because, um, yeah, so I sort of felt the frustration of May. Of, of, you know, there, there's, it's weird when you can't, like, when you can't speak and you mm. just want to tell these apes, you know, uh, what's going on and, and uh, sort of explain to them, you know, when you're listening to them and they're, they, they're sort of thinking you're something else. It's kind of frustrating in a way, like through the character, I mean, but um, so it was nicer actually yeah. when I got to speak. How you guys? And then, well, I think we had kind of different experiences with the speech mm -hmm. because, you know, the, Noah, at the start of the film, my speech is very, it's 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 unsure, you know. I, he's still kind of he's he's from a village where the elders don't speak a ton, and when you know when they do, it's 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 more akin to what we saw Caesar do. Um, but then throughout my journey, I meet these other apes, Raka, Proximus, who are very fluent, um, and so there's a kind of progression for Noah through the film of of the speech pattern and how how comfortable he is using a lot of words and, and, and really expressing himself. It's um, kind of fantastic how you, you know, Eagle Clan still uses mm -hmm. so much sign yeah. language, so it would make sense as yeah. to why. Well, we're very, like, we're very way. kind of traditional, you know, yeah. in that way. I don't yeah. know what... I, I mean, for, for me it was uh, through the, the movement, understanding the uh, anatomical differences that inform the movement, eventually informed the sound for me. Um, I remember Alain asked me a question and I was, we went from figuring out how to move like a bonobo to then in starting to inject Proximus into that where it totally changed it and the chest puffed out. And then uh, through that, Alain asked me a question and, and I said, I do not know. And he was like, what? the hell is that? And and uh, and I wasn't thinking that that's what was going to happen. It just happened. And then now I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking like that. I think he does it in every interview. Yeah, you can't stop. It's amazing. I just can't stop. It. <laughs> it's a problem. Um, so, are, are you going to speak the whole day like this? <laughs> it keeps, apparently, <laughs> yeah, he will. Apparently, yeah. Um, yeah, it feels really good, really empowering. I, when, I, when I was finding the character, I was about a 285 pound man turning into this bonobo and I had this gravity. It was terrifying. Um, and, it uh, was actually sensational. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thank you very much.